everyone and welcome to this video. Today I would love to share with you exactly what I brought and how I dealt with the food restrictions and limits to feed myself, my husband and our six children. Exactly what we brought. Stay tuned, it's coming right up. So I thought that I would begin with the cold stuff so then I can put it all away. So this is the cold stuff that we got from Woolworths. So I got two packets of blueberries, frozen blueberries. So the pan of ice cream was on special today so I got some for us and some for my parents who were next door. I got, this is dairy free ice cream, I got banana and caramel, two boysenberry cheesecake and one peanut butter raspberry. I got a big bucket of vanilla ice cream. Still the only frozen vegetables you can get are. Okay, so I just thought I should add that this is just my regular shop. This stuff should last about two weeks and some stuff I might need to go back for and some stuff will last longer than two weeks. Yeah, trying to do like a normal grocery shop when you have a large family is really challenging right now because you can't they have limits on the things that you can buy which means that um, if there's something that I need um, extra of just to get through the week or the fortnight um, I have to go back to multiple grocery stores for um, what also makes it challenging is that we live an hour from the nearest Woolworths, because we live out in the country, we live an hour and 40 minutes from the nearest Coles or Audi, and we live um, half an hour from the nearest tiny little food land. So um, some people say, why don't you just go to the shop every day? Well, it's not an option for us because we live um, out of town. And yeah, I can't just be going driving an hour I can't just be going and driving an hour to go shopping every day. So what I had to do is I had to go into different supermarkets um, and buying the same item to try and get the amount I needed. Um, in f Foodland, I really needed some diced tomatoes, which I'll show you soon. I actually went out with one lot, put it all in the car, and I went in back in to get another lot of diced tomatoes because I just... We live out of town, we have a lot of people, and I need the food, so I had to do that. Um, yeah, so just to get through for our normal, regular shop, that's what I just had to do. But yeah, I just want to say, like, I feel really blessed um, with what we were able to buy. Um, yeah, things could be much, much worse, so I am very thankful and happy with what I've got, and just happy, yeah, that things could be worse, and... I'm just thankful with what I did get. So with those things in mind, I'll keep showing you the rest of the stuff that I got. So um, I managed to get some more cauliflower, rice cauliflower, frozen. Um, and I got some dairy-free feta cheese and some dairy-free pizza shred cheese. Some barramundi, frozen barramundi fillets. We're gonna pull a few of those out and have them for lunch. Um, I got a thing of Hokey Pokey ice cream. Got a big 1.8 kilo thing of Greek style yogurt. Got a dozen eggs, this is from Woolworths. We've got a big kilogram thing of hummus. Got six liters of milk and some goat milk, which is for cedar and a big kilogram block of cheese. Got some spreadable cream cheese to 500 grams of butter, so a kilogram of butter. And that is all the stuff from Woolworths, that's cold. And then I went into this little sort of gourmet food store. I was trying to find coconut yogurt, but they didn't have any, so I got, I got some sauerkraut. This little yogurt shop yogurt that was on sale, and this spicy mix of greens from there. And these are the cold things that I got from the local food land. I got two packs of sausages. The meat there is so much better than Woolworths. That's why I went there to get meat. I got a kilogram block of cheese. 
I got two packs of beef mints and one, two, three, four packs of chicken thighs, which are going to be for this family chicken pies that I'm going to be making. Um, I might show you in another video the meals that we're going to be making with all this food. So I got two um, kilogram things of Greek yogurt. Um, we go through a lot of yogurt each week. Everyone loves yogurt. Um, and also some bacon. So that's all the um, cold stuff that I need to put away. I'm going to go put that away now and then get all the other stuff set up. All right, I had to go and sit down and have a cup of tea because I was exhausted <laughs> from all that shopping. So I'm back and I'm refreshed and I've put everything back out and I'd love to show you the rest of the stuff I got. So this is all the rest of the stuff. Half of this bench is Woolworths, the other half is Foodland. So actually other way around, Foodland, Woolworths. So I will start right here. These are Foodland cells, these e enormous tins. They're 2.5 kilograms each. Tins of diced tomatoes. And I actually was doing a lot of cooking this week. I think I'll show you my meal plan and some of the meals I make in another video. The um, Foodland had these massive tubs and I also got these smaller ones. And I actually brought these first because you're only allowed two um, tins of vegetables at once. So I got these two tins and I, put, I checked out, took everything into the car. And then I went back in to get my meat because I ran out of room in my trolley anyway. And then when I got my meat, I also got these two big tins of huge tins of diced tomatoes. So... Oh yeah, I'll show you in my in another video. So make sure you subscribe with the things that we're going to be making with all these ingredients and all the meals we're going to be making. We've got two tins of coconut cream. Yes, this is from Foodland. A bottle of like Posada cooking sauce. Some Yorkshire tea. This um, tea here. Got this bag was on special of toasted muesli and. This is a snack for Luke. I've got this battery for my torch and another tin of formula. Can see that it's still drinking it a bit as well as the goat milk. He's still having both. Um, some cacao powder, dried mixed fruit. Now this is going to be for our hot cross buns because it is Easter this weekend and we're going to be making some hot cross buns. So that is for that. Some green split peas tapioca flour I think there's one two three four five six packets these are on special of these peckish rice crackers got some vanilla vanilla <laughs> a bag of Himalayan salt because I was almost out of that and um, we got a big bag of rice pasta and a bag of Epsom salts they are to have a nice bath in I might have a bath with those and the lavender essential oil. Um, we've got some sweet potato chips, chili chips as a treat, um, original chips. And we got celery is really expensive right now, but I managed to get a little bit of celery. I think this one teeny little thing was like $6. Oh, celery is really expensive right now. I got one thing of almond and coconut milk. Actually, that needs to go over there. <laughs> um, some alfalfa sprouts, Brussels sprouts, a half a cabbage, and this is a big bunch of kale in there. Yes, big cabbage. That is supposed to be with the other haul. Um, and whoops, this is from worse too. These are actually for baby cedar to keep him busy while we're trying to homeschool two little thick punnets of cherry tomatoes i got these two bags of lettuces um the tomatoes were on special um yeah there's a i don't know it's probably like a kilogram of fine tomatoes in there um and there's oh they smell so good I got two of these red capsicum, like these, like everything, vegetables are so expensive right now, though some of these were on special, like I think this was only $2.50, but these capsicums were $8 a kilogram and that was on special, so some vegetables are just really expensive right now. 
Um, I got these Helga's sourdough wraps. We're going to do pizzas on them one night. Um, I got some bananas from Foodland, but they were like, I don't know, $7 a kilogram or something ridiculous like that. Um, I got a big thing of paper towel. They um, had a few left. This was one of the last ones. I, I still was unable to buy toilet paper. I have not seen toilet paper in a supermarket shelf for weeks now. I think it's been several weeks. And we actually have ran out of toilet paper and I could not buy any more today. So, um, yeah, we either have to wipe ourselves with gum leaves or tissues or paper towel. Um, we would be doing that if it wasn't for a family friend actually brought us some toilet paper in um, like seniors hour where the like pensioners are allowed to go to the supermarket in the like um, I think first thing in the morning and he actually got a packet of toilet paper for us so thank you so much if it wasn't for him doing that we would be completely out of toilet paper right now because for some reason it's still gone out of like yeah and I can't go to the shop every day looking for toilet paper like we live an hour from the shop at least so yes anyway this is now this is the stuff I got from Woolworths um, I got this baby spinach I'm sorry, these four cucumbers were from Foodland. They're actually a dollar each, which was really good. I got more bananas. They were slightly cheaper from Woolworths. Bananas are the only fruit I got today because we actually have a abundance of fruit on the trees here at the moment. We've got apples and pears, figs and grapes. So we are all good for fruit. Got some ginger. Got about three kilograms of carrots. Hello, <laughs> and you're having a, what are you having? Ice block. Yes. Special ice block. Yes, we made apple juice and grape ice blocks with our fruit from the trees, didn't we, Willow? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we got a bag of sultanas, some mushrooms, sweet potatoes, unfortunately were really expensive, so I didn't get many, but my mum has some massive pumpkins. We ate some chips. Yes, you did have some chips, didn't you? Mum has some big pumpkins in her garden, um, so I'll have to just use those instead of sweet potatoes. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I got three avocados. They were like $2 each. These are on special, these Panna um, hazelnut chocolate. So I got two of those. I got two tins of sardines in olive oil. I got two tins of like these big tins of pink salmon. I might make some like patties with those. Got some gluten free soy sauce, two posadas. I would have got more, but that's the limit was two. I got two packets of brown rice vermicelli noodles. I love to put these when I make a big vegetable soup. I love putting a packet of those in it and it makes it all fun for the kids. Gherkins. I got these choc almond clusters. I got these chia and quinoa wafer kind of crackers for baby cedar to just chew on while we are trying to do schoolwork. And um, there's another dozen eggs there from Woolworths. We've got cranberries. These are for our homemade muesli. Kidney beans. Yeah, I make like a baked beans kind of uh, recipe with these. And there's a few other things that I make with dried beans. Um, I got two milks, almond coconut and this coconut milk. Got a new apple cider vinegar. I like to put that when I make a big pot of stock or bone broth. Some sleepy time tea, buckwheat flour, oat flour. I got two rice malt syrups that I use to sweeten a lot of our, some of our biscuits and cakes. Peanut butter, cashew, cashew nut butter. Um, a bucket, one kilogram bucket of honey, ground chili. This is for another recipe that we're going to be doing this week. Brown rice flakes. These make a really nice porridge. I'm going to make that into a porridge for breakfast one day. Got these to snack on. They're like they're crunchy seaweed snacks. Two things of baking paper because I was nearly out. Two maple syrups. The kids use this to sweeten their natural yogurt. So we go through lots of like natural yogurt and maple syrup. They have that for like a dessert or a snack all the time. 
We've got a baking powder for our baking. I got some gloves for cleaning the cloth nappies um, that we're using now. Another two diced tomatoes, a thing of garbage bags, and dish washing cloths. And I got these cute little Bonds leggings for Cedar because he is growing out of lots of his clothes. Oh, they're going to be cute. And I got this um, white, like small white board for these magnetic tiles. Luke, are the magnetic tiles even packed up? Oh, they're still out. Oh, I got these magnetic tiles um, from Teacher Superstore um, and I they just came on their own and they needed a magnetic board. So I found this little magnetic um, white board and we can stick them on those and some more whiteboard textures because ours had run out. There's a few more things down here. Um, I got a bag of nappies for cedar for like overnight and when we run out of cloth nappies because I don't quite have enough yet. And um, some nappy pants for willow just for like overnight. And then there was this 10 kilogram bag of onions that was on sale from Foodland. Um, I got some bread, two loaves from Foodland and two loaves from Woolworths. I got a four kilogram bag of potatoes. That is another thing that is really expensive at the moment is potatoes. Everywhere I go, it's so much money to buy potatoes. And I got this pie dish from Foodland for some of the chicken pies that we're gonna make. And I got this really big bulk 120 tablets for our new dishwasher. Um, also, I'd like to show you, um, a friend mentioned um, some stores online that I could buy yeast from. So I actually got two of these dry yeast to make our bread. Once we run out of bread, and this bread won't last very long, once we run out I will make some bread in our bread maker. I got this yeast, uh, I actually got two of these so I ended up buying a kilogram of yeast. So I put the other one in the freezer. So we're still using about halfway through this five kilogram bag of flour. That should be enough for this week. So I probably spent more than I was really like hoping for. I would spend more than if I went to Audi, but yeah, the total for Woolworths was $463.54. Oh, might I add, I add, I also brought a few um, Easter eggs from I'm, not, I'm just trying to say it quietly. I brought some Easter thingies as well from um, Woolworths and that sort of made things more expensive too. Okay, and the total I spent at Foodland the first time I went in was $314. And then I went back in to get meat and those really big tins of diced tomatoes and I spent another, I think, $111. So... That's a lot of money. I think it's just under $900 I spent on this Fortnite's grocery shopping. And yeah, it's a lot, but oh well, it's done. So we have food. So thank you so much for watching. Yes, I know that lots of large families are, you know, having a bit of trouble at the moment getting enough food for them um, because of the restrictions. They just have to keep going back to the supermarket. That's not really an option for us because we live um, so far out of town. So I'm just making the best of what we've got and using up what we have. Also thought I should add that I also brought a 10 kilogram bag of, or box of almond meal that is coming in the mail. And I got that from Almond Co or Almond Hut which is a um, almond farm in Renmark in South Australia. So that is coming in the mail too. So add that onto my grocery haul. That should last us a while. I use that for heaps of my gluten-free cooking, like biscuits, cakes, pizza dough. I use it heaps for my pizza dough. So that is also coming. And I am thankful for all this food. So yeah. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.